Gulf Fritillary. This eye-catching butterfly is a local favorite for many Rio Grande Valley nature lovers. It can be found throughout the southern part of the United States, especially Florida and Texas. The Gulf Fritillary is considered a long-winged butterfly because of its long, narrow wings compared to other butterflies. The Gulf Fritillary likes sunny, open areas near grasslands, parks, and wooded areas. They are a common sight in butterfly gardens. It has become a common sight around my butterfly garden, as well as the Lemoyne Living Laboratory. That's because the kids of the Lemoyne Gardens unit of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Harlingen, Texas, have planted purple passion vine in their butterfly garden. The passion vine, shown here, is the host plant for the Gulf Fritillary. Here we see a Gulf Fritillary feeding on the nectar of the passion flower at the Lemoyne Living Laboratory. The kids of Lemoyne Gardens have already observed many times the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. From caterpillar to chrysalis to butterfly. They have seen this process over and over again. They know it very well. Now they are learning about the life cycle of the Gulf Fritillary. It starts with the male and female coming together to produce eggs. The female is darker and larger than the male. The male Gulf Fritillary is a brighter orange. Here we get a rare look at life renewing itself. The female Gulf Fritillary will lay her eggs on the passion vine and about a week later, they'll hatch. Once they hatch, the Gulf Fritillary caterpillar will feed on the passion vine leaves for about two or three weeks. Once the Gulf Fritillary caterpillar has grown fat on passion vine leaves, it will hang upside down to spin its chrysalis. The next few clips show the caterpillar at several different stages spinning a chrysalis. Several different caterpillars are being used to show that process. This same process has taken place many times the past few months at the Lemoyne Living Laboratory. See how Gulf Fritillary caterpillars have spun their chrysalises all along the fence. and observe now the fabulous result. These Gulf Fritillary butterflies have just emerged from their chrysalises.
I want you to take a closer look at what this gulf fritillary is doing. It's poking its long curved proboscis into the flower to drink nectar. That's something we're going to be talking a lot about the next few months. I want you to remember that the butterfly sinks its proboscis into the flower to drink nectar. You will be quizzed on that regularly.